Morning guys, I am just having my breakfast. I'm having some toast with raspberry jam, which is probably what I have for breakfast most of the time. It's something that I could probably have every single day and not get bored of it. Um, and I am just editing a video that I filmed yesterday, which is a quick little recipe video on the vegan mushroom gravy that I absolutely love. Um, and so that will probably be, hopefully I'll be done editing that one soon and I can put it up either today or maybe tomorrow morning. So stay tuned. And I'm gonna be going to work with Alex today to help him out. Um, I'm gonna bring my laptop there as well because if it is slow for a little bit, then I can do some editing and I will edit this video that I'm filming right now and have it up for you guys soon. So yeah. I just want to say thanks so much for all of your awesome comments on the last two videos that I made, the little mornings with Melissa type videos. I'm having a lot of fun filming these and I just think that they're a really cool way to connect with you guys and um, it just feels really relaxed and authentic and it's it's nice to kind of mix it up. I really enjoy filming the, you know, more edited videos, the videos on like one particular topic, but it's also nice to just be able to, you know, share the thoughts and ideas that I have with you guys and hear your feedback and kind of get a conversation going. I was going to film um, part of our walk today, but it's kind of rainy outside um, and I just don't want to get my camera wet. So just in case, I probably won't film that. Outfit of the day is this lacy black top that I got from a secondhand shop and some dark denim jeans. All right, I'm gonna go finish my breakfast. Okay, so breakfast is done. I am just gonna go walk Beckham now and then we're gonna leave for work. But uh, I just wanted to share something with you guys that Alex and I were thinking about recently. Um, we have really been thinking about moving to live somewhere hot, even if it's just for half of the year, just during the winters here in Canada. And the nice thing is, is that both of us um, can work online and both of us have I guess really downsized the things that we own and it just seems like it's so much easier and more feasible now to just be able to kind of pick up and go anywhere and that's really a huge huge benefit of minimalism and just feeling more free like we don't have this feeling of being encumbered by things or having to deal with all of our stuff or put things in a storage locker or need to buy some big home because we have like tons and tons of furniture or tons of stuff. And it's really nice to just think that if we want, we could go rent an RV or buy an RV and drive around and kind of explore and find somewhere that we might want to live um, or even just spend a few months every winter. We're kind of thinking about um, somewhere sunny in the US so maybe Florida or I've never been to Arizona but I'm definitely curious to check out Arizona so if any of you guys live in California Arizona or Florida let me know how you guys like it and like what area you guys live in or anything like that any recommendations would be awesome so we're thinking this winter maybe in December to go somewhere warm for a few weeks and just kind of see how we like it and see if we could live somewhere like that part-time and it's kind of cool now because we have really downsized we live in a small condo we don't have a ton of stuff so it just seems like it would be an easy transition to do something like that Whereas before um, Alex and I were together, I already lived in a condo, but he lived in like a three bedroom townhouse and he had a lot more things, which he gradually sold, gave away, got rid of. And now he seems to be a lot happier having less, um, but having still having the things that he likes and uses. So that's something that I'm kind of thinking a lot about. I'd love to hear from you if you could just pick up and go away for half a year and live somewhere other than where you're currently living, where would it be? And would you live in a tiny house or an RV 
or what would be your like dream dream life scenario to have a second place to live? For me, maybe it's just because I grew up in Canada and it, we do have colder winters here. It's always just seemed so amazing, like such an awesome experience to have like a tropical winter and just have warm weather and palm trees, sunshine, fresh fruit. Um, so that's something that I'm really looking forward to. And if we do go away during the winter, I will definitely film that as well and share that whole experience with you guys as well. Ready for work? I'm ready for work. Yeah, ready to rock and roll. <laughs> 